This has got to be one of the most underrated tractor attachments that you can add to your tractor. This is an installation video for Branson and TYM 20 series open station tractors as well as Bad Boy 50 series open station tractors. Now it's a rear lever that operates your three point. This is really helpful when you're hooking up attachments so that you don't have to go around into the cab of the tractor to run your three point lever on the inside. Everything nice and handy back here where you can get to it. Now these are model and cab or non-cab specific, so you can look at our website and see the differences between them. These kits are super simple to install. We make these as a DIY kit. They come with all the hardware and you can get them on our website. I'll drop a link to that in the description. The tools you're gonna need to install this lever are half inch sockets, 12 millimeter socket, three quarter socket, couple of half inch wrenches, 12 millimeter wrench, and then all of your hardware that you need is going to be on the tractor. We're gonna reuse a couple of bolts, um, and then you're gonna, all this other hardware that's already on it is gonna go back on it just like it is. So these are the two bolts that we're going to remove in order to install the bracket. And then we're gonna be tying in to the existing three-point lever that's accessible from the back of the tractor here. Once you get the whole arm disassembled, we're gonna start with this front bracket that ties into the three-point lever. Just pay attention to the orientation of that stud. It's gonna to point towards the fender. So as long as you can slide this bracket almost all the way to this bend, you can go ahead and snug it down there and then everything else can be adjusted to match later. So we'll reuse those bolts we just pulled out and then just pay attention to the orientation of that stud. It's gonna go in towards the tractor. So we noticed on some of these models, the original bolts aren't quite long enough and some of the models they are. So we're gonna go ahead and provide some longer bolts uh, and they're actually gonna be, uh, they'll be 12 or 13 millimeter heads, but there will be an extra set of bolts in the kit and that's what those are for, just in case your existing bolts aren't long enough to accommodate the new bracket. All right, so now we're gonna mount the front side of this linkage bar. So make sure to slip that nylon washer in there first. And then your regular flat washer, and then your nylon nut. So we're just gonna leave that loose. That way we can fit up the handle. So handle's going on. Make sure to get that nylon washer in there. Handle, then the washer, then that nut. And we can mount the rear side of the linkage arm. So nylon washer, 
slip it through. Flat washer and the nut. And looks like everything's clearing, so we can go ahead and cinch everything down. So on these, you want those snug down, but not over tight. If you over tighten that joint and this rear linkage joint, this thing will be really hard to move. So you want those just snug, not over tight. And then you'll use this right here, the pivot for the actual arm to set your tension. And the way you want this set is not over tight so that it's hard to move the mechanism but tight enough to where when you're operating the tractor this arm doesn't drift down under its own weight and after you make those final adjustments you're done you've got a functional rear three-point lever maybe you've got longs to mow maybe you've got feet